The search is still on for the victims of the worst flooding in years in the Argentine province of Buenos Aires. Here in the city of La Plata, where at least 50 people died, rescue teams are trying to reach those in need or find the unaccounted ones. But for some locals, the response from the authorities hasn't been good enough. They show up now. Mr. Governor shows up now after they evacuated all of us, after we almost drowned. They can all go to hell. We've lost everything. No, no, the assistance did not receive one. No, we didn't receive any assistance. The only thing there is is St. Martin Club, where the Red Cross is, and where we put our names down to see if, at very least, they could give us a mattress. Terrible, terrible, terrible what we are going through. And no one comes. No one because here it is neighbours who have to do everything. The leaders and people from the school. Officials have deployed hundreds of rescue workers in La Plata and also members of the security forces to prevent looting. More than 30 shelters have also been opened for those who lost their homes. But there are still many deeply affected by the flash floods that almost drowned the entire city. The truth is that we are in a very critical situation because the water took us by surprise. It rose very quickly and we lost everything that was on the ground floor. The Argentine government has declared three days of mourning as the flooding remains very much present in the lives of the people here. A huge solidarity operation is underway trying to gather anything that can help the hundreds of thousands that the authority says were affected. But some keep asking what can officials do in terms of urban planning to avoid such disasters from happening again. Vladimir Hernandez, BBC News, Buenos Aires.